All right, guys. It's it's bananas and pears, and we got a spooky Friday the Thirteenth kitty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's not a black cat, but he's my cat. And I'm out on my front porch, and we're looking for some very elusive ghost-like creatures. It's a gecko. And over here. Just have to focus it. The moon looks like it has rings around it. And over here we have the moon. Full moon. Let's get the wings. Full moon on Friday the thirteenth. Oh my gosh! There's another one under there. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. You can see the shadow for what I'm seeing, but. Oh, here's a spooky kitty. Can't see him because it's dark. But. Let's see any. Hmm. Dun dun dun! Someone must have been here. <laughs> oh yeah, the frog. This frog. Okay. Yep. Comes here because we got a light right here, and he's looking for moths. And we seem to, ch oh yeah, I did teleport. <laughs> but we seem to be checking on just about everyone this Friday the 13th. And so, I'm also going to include, well, that was kind of the extra bit, but my routine with my guinea pig. So, <laughs> there he is. It's a very <laughs> close shot, but... Every day, have to restock his food. Now, you see all this little, like, dusty bits? He does not like that. He will not really eat those, because he can't eat those. Like, they're super small. It's like... Oops, sorry. It's like someone trying to scoop out all the pieces of salt off their plate. So, kind of help him. Now, see, he's got some left in there. And he knows, he knows what I'm doing. He knows that he's about to get some food. Come on, buddy. Okay, so I'm going to make a few more runs, and we'll be good to go. Basically, once I have that, I can just kind of put it in the cage, because maybe he'll nibble on it, but we'll change it out, so. I know, I want it, but excuse me, excuse me, he knows he's getting food. I'll have to bribe him away. Well, we give him these anyway. These are just his little pellets. Um, they are. Oh, there he goes. He's like, oh, there they are. And yes, he does purr. Purring is like a sign of affection, basically. And no, 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 no. You go back to eating. But.
is probably the best way to get rid of the hay dust. You know, there's so much of it. Sorry, Elwood. But I just use the cloth because, well, not cloth, but toilet paper because there is so much of it. The last little bit's kind of got to use my fingers. <laughs> He's like, what is this? Elwood, it's blocking you. I'm sorry. Don't want to block you. Yeah, maybe he'll do something with that. I have no idea. I didn't get him very many pallets earlier. Give him just a few more. It's a little house. So then, can take the Timothy hay. bend over and carefully kind of put it in. The reason there is so, so much dust in the bottom because we recently got him a new bag of hay. So that was from the end of the older bag. Um, but it's enjoying that food. Um, next up, I have to get him water. So, he has a little bit of water, but I always like to do it when I'm getting him his food. He's gonna complain. That's because he's like, are, are we taking that away forever? He, he knows he likes it. He needs the water. Oof. So when I put it on, I don't put it on like that. Because that leaves a lot of bubbles. So I put it on where it's still kind of clear. To watch it. Oh, there's a lot. And turn it off when it's full. Since I was holding the camera, I couldn't turn it off quite so fast. Um, sometimes this is the difficult part. Sorry, gotta get it screwed on. There we go. But sometimes I'll have to clean the edges. But we just did that yesterday, actually. Um, so, basically, got to start heading back to the room. Um, I always like to test it, the bathroom. This is my kitty. He's here. He's like, what are you doing? Say hello. Oh, well, that's his way of saying hello with his tail. I know. Giving it all with some food and water. <laughs> it's like you should give me food and water too. Alright, well. Oh, excuse me. Alright. Sorry, I needed both my hands to get it in. But after I get it in, I just kind of lift it up. Sometimes it's slow. This time it's kind of extra slow because I only have one hand. But he's waiting for it and he's like, where's my water? And it's there. I can drink from it. He's like, yay. He's got food and water and I got rid of all the crazy dust from the hay. Um, so, after that, we will vacuum, we, but we're about to vacuum. Uh, 
why it's so messy. And then, let's see where the kitty is. Oh, I knew it. I just knew it. He was in here. He likes the camera. Sniffing. And basically, we built him a little shelf. He's got a block for his little food. A rug. Very nice. Puffy. Do you like this? Like it a lot? Alright. Well, I'll let you be. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, he knows I'm back now. Alright. I guess it's only right. Stop this video. Me holding him. Where's the towel? Alright, so basically, some of my friends have asked me what types of towels do you use when you hold your guinea pig? Do you use some nice blankets? Do you use some washcloths? Or maybe some towels. No. I, well, some of them were like, then maybe you use hand towels. They're perfect size for him. Thing is, towels can be pretty expensive. And sometimes you don't want to buy a few towels just for the guinea pig. So, good idea is to use sorts of rags. There we go. It's an old sheet, which might seem like a lot, but I assure you, it doesn't have to be unfolded completely. I'm just going to have this down here, just in case. But set you down for a second. Look at the cat. Come here. Come. Nope, come. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, come here. Come here. Alright, well, you guys watch the sheet. You gotta get him. No? Alright, go in from the top. Oh, come on. Come on. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. That is the story of how Elwood was put under down the blanket. I just kind of pet him. Sometimes he just wants to stay in his house, but it's good for him to be socialized. Um, isn't, I think, I think this sheet has a lot of holes in it, that's why I have it very thick, but it's a very sweet boy. Very cute. Um, I don't have anything for him right now, but sometimes when I feed him a lot of lettuce. Come on, no, 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 no. Stand up. You want to stand up? Not jump on me. <laughs> have to. Stand up.
stand up. No, you cannot eat that. Have to. Up. Oh. Come on. No. You have to stay on the sheet. Alright. I got him standing up. He doesn't want to stay. But, no. No. I would know. No. No. See, this is the problem. He's going to try and eat it. And you have to tell him, no eats. No eating that. Guinea pigs. Most of the time, they need to have a constant supply of food. Otherwise, they're going to try and eat something else. The only thing is, it's not going to be you. A lot of times, people see little furry animals, and they're like, oh, it's going to bite me. Now, obviously, that's good. I mean, you're not going to you're not gonna want to walk up to a rat and be like, Oh, hey, nice little pet. But lots of people have been like, oh, yeah, the hamsters, they bite. Yes, hamsters do bite. Guinea pigs, no, you see, hamsters, no, he's, look, he's still trying to eat it. No, I'm going to put my leg right there. But now he's trying to get it. Oh, my goodness. No, no. But... Guinea pigs, um, hamsters are about this big, right? They're smaller. Guinea pigs are a lot bigger than hamsters. Um, hamsters also do bite you. Um, he's hiding now, but guinea pigs really don't. Now, if you spook them, they will run. They get fast. Completely hidden. Oh, goodness, I'm worried about you. I don't know how I'm supposed to get you out. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. oh there he is. He <laughs> turned around. Alright, clearly he does not want to be found. But, guinea pigs are a lot bigger than hamsters. And, if you look, his face is... Very tight. Now, if he stays still, I can show you how usually his face is coming to more of, almost like a point. See him? Alright. And he's got bigger ears here. But guinea pigs do not bite. Now, if you put your finger like this, he will start to, they will start to nibble you. Now, obviously, if you leave it there and they're nibbling you and nibbling you... They might try and bite you, because they're like, well, it's not moving. It's probably like a carrot or something. Like, your finger... Like, imagine if you don't know what a finger is, or basically anything is. Which might sound weird, but... The guinea pig's like, well... Hmm. I've been fed baby carrots before, but I've never fed these. So, they look a lot like the little baby carrots, so they must be baby carrots. And so, he might try and eat. Oh, come on, you're still eating the fabric? Alright, well, clearly he wants to go back home. Now, of course, if he determines your finger is a baby carrot, he's going to bite into it like he would a baby carrot. So... If you ever eaten a baby carrot, you know just about how hard he's gonna bite you. Cause those things can be hard. So you gotta wash your hands. Um, not just with water, but soap too. Keep in mind they don't bathe every day. Well, most of the time they don't really bathe at all. Um, I try and give him a bath once or twice a month. Um, 
he's due for his, so that might be another video, but we're running kind of long on this one. So, you're going to want to wash, wipe your hands with water, and, you know, put the soap on. And not the teeniest, tiniest little bit that you can't even see. And you're not going to want to pump five things of soap, but a good amount. Rub it all over and not just go like that and be like, I'm done. Because you didn't just touch him with your fingertip. Touch him all over the place. And I have hair on my shirt from him, so I'm pretty sure his hair got... Or his or her hair probably got everywhere. So... Just so rinsing off. Just gonna try your hands and proceed on normally. And it's kind of going to be the norm. For after with every animal. So, this is Banax and Pears over and out.